Welcome to Marrakesh, Morocco. We spent the day yesterday relaxing. First day here in Marrakesh, getting a haircut first thing. I'm at Omar Barbershop, the place has the best review. So I'm excited to see what they do. It's getting a little long. Welcome to Morocco. And today we are just out and about getting our first impressions of the city. It's already been so hectic. We're gonna do some touristing around, see the top sites, go to the main square, and just see what we can get up to. I just walked by the sugar cane stand. I can never turn those down. It is one dollar for a small drink of sugar cane. All right, what's this first stop we're at? Okay, we are here at, this is the largest mosque in Marrakesh. It was built in the 12th century. And the minaret is really pretty. It was, I think it's 77 meters tall, 253 feet. Okay, thank you, tour guide. You're welcome. <laughs> Wow, we picked, I think, the hottest day of the week to do our touristing around the city because yesterday was like beautiful and overcast and kind of cool and we just like relaxed and did nothing. And today it is like sweltering and it's just the morning time, but that's our own fault. I can't imagine what it's like in the summertime though, so we can't oh complain God. too much. Everywhere you walk in the city, there's a bunch of horses and carriages that people can get rides on. And a lot of people taking a ride, which is kind of surprising. We heard it's not the best thing to do because the horses are not the best taken care of. There are over 50 lined up on the street right here though, which is kind of crazy. So this is the main square. It's called Gemma Elfna. It's basically like the main focal point for locals and tourists. It's a UNESCO site. Um, I think during the day they have like fruit and veg markets and like, I don't know, souvenir stalls. And then at night is like the street food stalls and stuff like that. So yeah. Let's walk into this craziness and see what we can see. I already have people like yelling at me to look at a snake. I'm like, I am not going to make eye contact with anyone with a snake. You can already hear tons of live music. You've seen a bunch of snakes, some monkeys on leashes. It's a lot of chaos here. I won't be getting a lot of B-roll here because I'm not going to tip everybody I take a shot of. And I heard they can way overcharge you, so. So I approached the musicians with the cobras. Those cobras are intense. I first asked him, I showed him 70 cents. He was like, no, no, paper money, paper money. <laughs> and then the musician called me over. He was like, how much do you have? So I pulled out $1.50 and they let me take some photos and videos of them. The music's really good. The cobras are frightening though. They're like trying to bite at these drums they had. It's, it's pretty intense here, as you can tell. So we've been offered braids, which I said my hair is not long enough, fruit, juice of course, there's tons of the cobra stands with the music, and henna, like this. Yeah, henna. Oh, very pretty, but she no thank lucky. you. No thank you. Like you. <laughs> you make it crazy. No, 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 man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See? Just like that. They try to grab you and ride on you, and then before you know it, you're already paying. Close call. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Have a good day. How cute was that? Oh my God! You know, I was like, that's the only animal on a chain I want to take a picture of. That was so cute. Found a spot in the shade to have a coffee, a little bathroom break and some peace from the hustle and bustle. Yeah, perfect. So it was really funny as we were coming in, we were looking for a place to get a cappuccino or a coffee, and both the competing restaurants at the cafes came out, and they were like, yeah, look at my menu, look at my menu, and then I was like, oh, cappuccino, how much? And the one guy was, it was $3.50, or 350 and the one here was, it was only 250 of course, so we chose the cheaper option, and then the competing restaurant owner was like, Welcome home, you know, because we're bargaining and finding the best deal, which is super cute. The cappuccino looks delicious. Best coffee I've had yet in Morocco. Milkshake. Perfect, my man. I love that. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Okay, 
Okay, so we just walked over to the Sadian Tombs. It's the final resting place for the old Sultan. Um, Jackie's gonna go see how much tickets are, and you can see like where him and his old like coterie are laid to rest, and it's supposed to be a beautiful garden. So these tombs look super beautiful. It is 70 a person, which is about seven dollars. All right, Jamie, what's up next? So we are going to head to the Jewish Quarter. There's like three points of interest over there, like a synagogue and the cemetery. And then we'll loop back around and head back to Gemma Elfna for the evening time. Beautiful smile. Thank you guys. Thank it. you. Enjoy your time, huh? It's a good time. Those turtles were so cute, but the lady said they only sell them to locals, obviously, because tourists can't take them home. And they're only five euros. I know, they're so cute. Jackie thought they were fake, like the little horses on the rope. She thought they were like battery operated turtles. <laughs> Have a nice day. Morocco freely opened up their arms for to the Israelites who were fleeing persecution. And in a lot of the major cities, they had these quarters that they were housed in. As we were deciding where we're going next, the cemetery or the next market, so many people, one guy stopped on a scooter and was like, this way is the market, it's a spice auction going on. This way is the graveyard. Overall, the Moroccan people have been super helpful and sweet. We just stopped to see the Jewish cemetery. It's 10 dirham each to get in, a dollar. In the mid 1500s, there were 35,000 Jewish people living here in the Malak. Yeah. We're presently at the Jewish cemetery. Um, is huge. At one time when typhus ran its course, there were over 7,000 children that are buried here of Jewish descent. Very sad. So at the cemetery, the arrangement of the graves is very unique to Marrakesh. The men and women are separated, and so are the children. And on the very outside, the protectors of the cemetery, like the judges and the scholars. I thought that was pretty touching. <laughs> Perfect, Hassan. Nice Thank to meet you, you man. Nice it's to meet you. Very friendly. You are very friendly. Good day. You too, brother. You too. We have, we have come full circle. We're back in Gemma Alpha, the main square. We are starving because it is like four in the afternoon now, so we're going to go find some food. I feel like you can always find your way back to the main square just by listening to that music. It's uh, very distinguishable. So for my starter, I ordered Vissara, which is a soup made out of fava beans, and they drizzle olive oil and some lemon on top. We haven't tried this yet. It actually looks so good. Hot, creamy, but hearty. Great flavors. There's some spices in there too, some turmeric. Mm, I love the lemon and olive oil on top though. This is delicious. This is exactly what I would order. I love like the blended up beans with the olive oil. It's so creamy. It's really good. Salad was unexpected because I did not know that we were getting that with our dish, but it's really cute. It's in the shape of a heart. Shukran. Shukran. That would be great. Woohoo! We came to this place. It's primarily known for seafood, but they also have a great local Moroccan food as well. I ordered the beef tagine, Tommy ordered the lamb tagine, and then we also got two mixed plates of seafood, and I think we're all going to just split everything. No matter how many tagines we eat, they don't get old for me. I love them. And I got mine with vegetables. And whenever he saw us filming, he set up the plate to where like, it's very photogenic looking. He left the top for us to film. It was, he knows very, what doing. It was very cute. Anyway, we're starved. I'm ready to dig in. The meat is just falls off. Like, look at that. It is so good. The meat is so tender. It's really yummy. First bite of the lamb tagine. 
so delicious. I'll still say Sammy's beef is a little bit better. But I love the flavors of the lamb. It's a little more fatty, but great, great find, Sammy. This restaurant is legit. How was everybody's meal? It was wonderful. I cleared my plate. It was so good. Good work, baby. It was fabulous. I love it. Best fish I've had in Morocco so far, and that's that's surprising, isn't it? It is. Perfect way to end our first day here in Mary. New record. I think that's the highest we've seen. Good. Mint, right? Mint. Mm. Mint and a little bit of sugar. Chicken tajin. Oh, no, yeah, she ordered tajin. No, I think for you. Oh, chicken no. for you. You did. No, for her. No. Yeah. That's photo. Her acting skills are not it. He's better than this part. <laughs> he came and came over with a third tagine. We're all like stuffed and he's like, you order chicken tagine? And we're like, no, we did not order chicken tagine. Have you? No, we, we don't want the chicken. No, we had meat. You did? No. No, we didn't order it. And he kept it going for a bit and it was the check. Anyway. Clever, clever. That was very, that was very clever. It's helpful. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh, you wrote us a sweet little note. That's so I sweet. Hope you do something sweet and make you happy. <laughs> Thank so you. Sweet, He's so sweet. <laughs> so what is this? Well, he got us good, didn't he? <laughs> he got us so good. I love it. We're so, we're so on our guard after being in, you know, being in Morocco for a while. <laughs> we're <laughs> too funny. So this is our waiter who is amazing, a trickster too with the bill. It was so great. Yeah. Thank you for everything, man. Good joke. <laughs> Good joke. Good come. joke. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? First impressions of America? The tour was amazing. It was so tour. much fun. Oh, and Sammy. Sammy I want to give tour. thanks to Sammy because she did a wonderful job of, you know, directing us and Aww, getting us to the right know. spot. Thank and you. You know, usually we get, get lost yeah. sometimes. <laughs> and she didn't get lost once. Not it was even. amazing. I guess at the end of the trip, I'm going to get it together at some point. Yeah, it was great. Well, the hospitality here in Morocco has been super amazing. I'm, I'm surprised by Marrakesh too. Like, first impressions here, we read a lot of things about how high pressure it is. People are hassling you, asking Just for get money. Hassle but a little bit, you know, the yeah, tricks but, or stuff. But it was actually so wonderful. That's very rare compared to the normal locals you actually meet. Yeah, it was so great. Great first impressions of Marrakesh. Tomorrow we are doing a food tour. Yeah. Um, so we're super stoked about that. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one.